Hello, and welcome back, humans, to Crypto Zombies. This is lesson one. Hopefully, you guys see my introduction video. If not, you guys can link to it down here. But either way, welcome, human. So, you think you have what it takes to become a crypto zombie, huh? This course will teach you how to build a game on Ethereum. It's designed for beginners to solidity, but it assumes you have some experience programming in an other language, e.g. JavaScript. Are you ready to get started? I am. If you're not, check out some of my courses to get you started in another programming language such as JavaScript. Here's a link now. But other than them, you guys, the ones who are ready to get started, we're starting now. So chapter one is a lesson overview. Great. Thought we just did one. Well, I guess. But in lesson one, you're going to build a zombie factory to build an army of zombies. Our factory will maintain a database of all zombies in our army. Our factory will have a function for creating new zombies. Each zombie will have a random and unique appearance. In later lessons, we'll add more functionality like given zombies the ability to attack humans or other zombies. But before we get there, we have to add the basic functionality of creating new zombies. Makes sense. Well, how zombie DNA works. The zombie's appearance will be based on its zombie DNA. Zombie DNA is simple. It's a 16-digit integer-like big number that I'm not going to read. Just like real DNA, different parts of this number will map to different traits. The first two digits map to the zombie's head type, the second two digits to the zombie's eyes. Note, for this tutorial we're going to keep things simple and our zombie can have only seven different types of heads even though two digits allow 100 possible options. Later on we could add more head types if we wanted to increase the number of zombie variations, which I doubt. For example, the first two digits of our example, DNA above, are 83. To map that to the zombie's head type, we do 83 modulo 7 plus 1, which is 7, of course, because everybody knows. So this zombie would have the 7th zombie head type. Cool. In the panel to the right, go ahead and move the head gene slider to the 7th head type, the Santa hat, to see what the trait the 83 would correspond to. Put it to the test. Now let's zoom out a little. So here the head gene. We can go to number 7. Okay. Play with the sliders on the right of the page. Experiment to see how the different numerical values correspond to different aspects of the zombie's appearance. So, you know, playing around. When you're ready to continue, hit next chapter below. And let's dive into learning solidity. Sounds good to me. Let's... See, I'm guessing we're going to be able to do something similar to this, like, booyah, different, ooh, mine look pinkish with some greenish weird eyes, and boom. So, this is uh, an overview. I thought we were going to get started coding, but I guess not. Uh, but in the next video, we're going to get started with this even more, but we're going to be able to do something cool like this and, like, play online game type of stuff. See you on the next video.